The story of the Austin Maxi begins in the mid-1960s, a period when British car manufacturer British Motor Corporation, BMC, sought to create a versatile and practical family car. The aim was to design a vehicle that combined the spaciousness and comfort of a saloon with the practicality and flexibility of a hatchback, catering to the evolving needs of families in the post-war era. The result was the Austin Maxi, a car that would become known for its innovative design and practicality. Introduced in April 1969, the Austin Maxi was designed by Sir Alec Isagonis, the same engineer behind the iconic Mini and Morris Minor. The Maxi featured a boxy, utilitarian design with a focus on maximizing interior space and functionality. One of the key innovations of the Maxi was its five-door hatchback body style, making it one of the first British cars to offer this configuration. This design provided easy access to the rear cargo area and allowed for greater flexibility in carrying passengers and luggage. Under the hood, the Austin Maxi was equipped with a range of new overhead camshaft engines, starting with a 1.5-liter inline-four, later upgraded to a 1.75-liter version. These engines were mounted transversely, a layout pioneered by Isagonis with the Mini, which helped to maximize interior space. The Maxi was also notable for being the first British car to feature a five-speed manual gearbox, providing drivers with improved fuel efficiency and a smoother driving experience. The interior of the Austin Maxi was designed with practicality and comfort in mind. The car offered a spacious cabin with ample headroom and legroom for passengers. The rear seats could be folded down completely flat, creating a large and versatile cargo area. This flexibility made the Maxi ideal for family outings, camping trips, and other activities that required carrying bulky items. Despite its innovative features, the Austin Maxi faced several challenges during its early years. Initial models were plagued by quality control issues and mechanical problems, which affected the car's reputation. However, BMC, later British Leyland, worked to address these issues through various updates and improvements over the years. In 1970, the Maxi received a facelift, which included a revised front grille and other minor styling changes. Further improvements were made to the engine and gearbox to enhance reliability and performance. These efforts helped to restore confidence in the Maxi and contributed to its growing popularity among British families. The Austin Maxi's practicality and versatility made it a popular choice for a wide range of customers. Its spacious interior, flexible seating arrangements, and large cargo capacity appealed to families, while its efficient engine and comfortable ride made it suitable for long-distance travel. The Maxi also found success in fleet markets, including use as taxis and company cars. Production of the Austin Maxi continued until 1981, by which time it had become a well-established and respected model in the British automotive market. During its production run, the Maxi underwent several updates and improvements, ensuring that it remained competitive in a rapidly changing market. Despite its eventual discontinuation, the Austin Maxi left a lasting legacy. It was a pioneering model that introduced several important innovations to the British car market, including the five-door hatchback design and the five-speed manual gearbox. The Max's emphasis on practicality and versatility influenced the design of future family cars, both within British Leyland and across the automotive industry. Today, the Austin Maxi is remembered fondly by classic car enthusiasts and collectors. Its unique combination of practicality, innovation, and charm has earned it a place in automotive history as a trailblazer in the development of modern family cars. The story of the Austin Maxi is a testament to British engineering ingenuity and the enduring appeal of a well-designed, versatile vehicle. Check out the many thousands of great videos on this channel, subscribe and please share or visit the Bonswivit shop on eBay which has over a quarter of a million collectibles.